welcome friends welcome to the eq series in which we try to discuss more and more clinical questions which are patient oriented of course and as per the new and the next pattern that we have with us i'll be discussing a neurology question today and it's a very basic maneuver that we do in our ward and the question reads like this during a neurological examination you ask a patient to stand with both the hands fully extended parallel to the ground with eyes closed for next 10 seconds name the test and that's the image along with it as you can see the person is holding the hand like this and in the name vex image the hand tries to move in the opposite direction and it drifts down with the gravity so that's a very old clinical sign that we know as a pronator drift sign now what is the relevance of this sign if you know the person is having weakness on one side of the body it can be a case of hemiparesis but it is always due to a lesion in the corticospinal tract now the corticospinal has got innervation for the distal muscle more than the proximal one which has crossed the midline in medulla if you know in the brain if i start it from the left cortex in the medulla we try to cross the midline and the innervation goes for the opposite half of the body so for chance i'm having a weakness on my right side i'll tell the patient to hold the hand like this keep the eye close for next 10 seconds and the right hand muscles yeah will move in the opposite direction and will fall down with gravity that's known as a term pronator drift sign they can be meaning questions on this small concept like what is the relevance of this sign as we come to know it is basically defining and localizing where is the lesion the lesion is in the corticospinal tract and we find the muscle weakness is more distal than proximal so the person cannot hold it for more than 10 seconds time other signs which are in the options like if you remember this old this didokinesia it's a very old clinical sign to see the cerebellar lesion we tell the patient to hold the hand like this and keep on doing it this requires coordination and this coordination comes from the cerebellum so in a cerebellar injury you will have this sign this didokinesia and the most popular bembinski sign that is an extensor plantar we try to stroke the sole of the patient feet with the blunt end of knee hammer or maybe a softer version key from lateral to the medial aspect and if you find the on the toes all the toes goes down that's a normal flexor plantar if the big toe extends and all the small toes fan out that is an extensor plantar that is again a sign to see the corticospinal tract injury because all falls into one group that is a human kind of a lesion and this is another old sign non specific known as the lamite symptom in which we tell the patient to flex the neck and across the spine there is a shock like wave being generated i always say it as a non specific because the book says that is seen in patients of multiple sclerosis but it can also occur in cases of cervical spondylosis so we got many more signs at least four signs into one mcq and these are the clinical based question that we should know the take home message from this like next time you come across a patient with a weakness on one side of the body like a case of hemiparesis try to try to elicit this sign because in the initial phase there is a stroke in evolution such sign pronator drift sign will really help you to localize where is a lesion or is there any kind of a subtle weakness or not because it's a common experience in a patient with hemiparesis he might just come with some mild weakness in the right hand you might think it's some neuropathy and disturb the patient but try to elicit this sign next time in the ward pronator drift sign a very helpful sign thank you